Hi, I'm David Davis from Actual Tech Media. We're here at VMworld 2018. I'm excited to be joined by my childhood friend, Mr. Neil Moore, an eight-time CCIE. Yeah, I gotta count it. And a yeah. CCDE, too. And a CCDE. A legend in the networking community, now working for VMware. Right, still doing networking. And I'm talking a little fast because we're gonna try to do NFV in three minutes here. Okay, so NFV, what is it? Uh, it's, we'll start with making, so we don't have acronym soup. Uh, NFE stands for Network Function Virtualization. So that's the over uh, overarching, uh, uh, when you take physical hardware and you take it to virtual in the uh, service provider and telco space. Okay. Service provider and telco uses NFV or network function virtualization. And, and then VNFs, which is virtual network functions, are sub functions of that. So, like I can say that I have a route reflector, that would be a VNF. Okay. Whereas if I'm doing specific ones, a VNF could be Cisco, Arista, uh, for a, a particular brand of a VNF. Okay. And all of this can run through NSX too. I mean, just throwing that in there. So, it's not like oh, you can use NSX to be able to to spread it wide, to have it where you can scale like many, many uh, different vendors and, and, and on one section, and they don't have to go buy additional hardware to do it. Okay, and why are so many companies moving to NFV? Like, what's the reason? Well, 5G is one of them. Uh, with 5G, that it used to be, oh, I'm used to somebody getting a couple of megs of throughput and moving about 80 miles an hour. Now it's gigs of throughput from multiple locations at once. So I can have one where if I'm having a, a high-end uh, person talking to me that I have priority, if I'm watching a movie, it can have a separate one. If I'm on a telephone call, that I it has to be uh, I, 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 like you know in our days right yeah. jitter jitter yeah. latency yeah. you can actually set it so that it requires it to have these this this speed and this uh, uh, you know SLA do I need software to find networking to do NFV right yeah, that's where that's where it really comes that's in that's really what yeah. makes it up right so okay. except trying not to switch into acronym soup on you yeah. but it would be like if I'm going to make a telephone call like from my last year's hands on lab yeah. the session border controller which is at the edge like if, if you're on Sprint and I'm on Verizon it would come into a session border controller, terminate, then it says, oh, you're on one codec, I'm on another, so it runs through VNFs to do that. Okay. Then it goes, wait, wait, let me make sure they're authorized for this, that's another, that's another VNF. And then it's like, oh, I want to record my uh, unicorns at the same time. Yeah. My unicorns are rainbows. That's a, yet another VNF. And then we're talking to each other all at the same time. Okay. That's that's a, that's service chaining, by the okay. way. Yet another term. And last question. I think I know the answer. What's the best way at VMworld to learn about NFV? Uh, hands on labs, hands down. Hands on labs, hands down. I like that. Got it. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Neil. All right. Thanks much, man.